Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into an application I talked about previously. I did a first impression on this application. It is still in a really early stage, so I won't be too strict with it. I can't recommend it either because there are still bugs, issues, and a lot of features that are coming in the future, but uh, I still think it deserves uh, a good review and to be looked at because the application looks really, really interesting. And as always, I won't be able to go into every single detail of the application just because that would take months to just get familiar with the application. Then uh, the video would get very long, but I will try to cover the main things. So let's just jump right into this. So the application we are talking about in this video is actually called Memotron. I think that's how you pronounce it and it looks a little like this. I haven't added a lot of things in here but um, this application is really good with uh, web clippers so you can clip a lot of things. I think I have the web clipper here somewhere if I haven't disabled it. I, I have a lot of uh, different web clippers uh, here and it is hard to know exactly which one is for which. I think this might be the one. Uh, we will try that. Uh, but uh, basically it has a web clipper and it wants you to clip a lot of things here. You can see the different types. So you have markdown, you have PDF, you have images, you have audio, video, web page, a lot of different things. It also has uh, Kindle book notes. So you can have your Kindle books inside of here and everything inside of the application is called a node. So you can press this plus node button right here to uh, actually uh, add some Thing, or you can go into capture right here. So when you are capturing a note, this feels really familiar. This is just a note taking interface. So I can start writing here. Let's do a test note and I can then do backslash and I will get a lot of different options. But let's clear this because you have the ability to add audio, camera and upload things as well. So you can upload files to this as well. Um, but if I now write test and I do backslash, I get a bunch of different options. So I have the ability to add a few things here. Uh, and here we come to the thing I talked about earlier, that a lot of features are planned. And when these features are implemented, I think this can become a really, really good application, like a top tier application, but only if they are able to uh, get all of these features in in a good way but you have your basic headings this works with markdown as well so I can do three hashtags and I can write like this uh, so it works with markdown as well you can add lists so uh, unordered lists ordered list checklists uh, you can add media sketch is actually a fun one which I haven't seen in many other applications this is also planned with the ability to add files pdf video audio and image which is to be expected in uh, note-taking applications even though audio isn't the one I've seen the most I've seen video image pdf file I've seen those especially PDF but I haven't seen audio a lot in note taking applications you can change the layout of this so you can add dividers double dividers media grid cards tabs uh table stack so a bunch uh accordion as well you can embed things you can embed your kindle highlights you can embed kindle books you can embed tweets youtube videos web text clips embed collections which are basically folders i will get more into collections later um or you can just press embed anything but if you just take an example with a kindle highlight i can choose one from my library but i haven't saved anything into my library yet uh, so that won't work but uh you can actually choose from your library so it works basically like a backlinking if you have if you have uh, your Kindle highlights or a note living inside of here, you can embed that note into another note. I hope that makes sense. Basically, a note can live inside of another note, uh, which is something I know a lot of people want. It is basically like backlinking, but it isn't because it is embedding. <laughs> Um, you have graph, you have node link trees and calendar plans, so you can embed graph 
uh, node link tree and a uh, calendar as well. These are all planned. Uh, the same goes for everything else here as the Kindle highlights. If I press like web text clip, I can choose from my library. So basically what it does is that it, um, it adds uh, things from your library or allows you to pick things from your library to add into a note. Let's go ahead and clear this and I will show you the collections as well. So you can actually have uh, collections inside of here. They are right here and you can press add a collection. What this is, is basically a folder or a database. So I can have a folder here and uh, give this a description, add a cover photo or just a color. Uh, you can do a bunch of things here or you can use AI. These are actually coming soon. So this is a part of the roadmap. Um, again, it comes back to my point of the application being really good right now, but I think it will get much better once they've added everything they've planned. I can press typed here and I can add properties and this basically turns it into sort of a database functionality. So here you have the different, uh, different types of uh, properties. You can add everything from text, number, email, link, select properties, uh, rating, date, checkbox. This would work great if you want a place to have all of the books you've read, especially with the Kindle integration. I think that will be great. Um, as of right now, there isn't actually a good way of like automatically putting things into collections. However, that is also, again, planned. Uh, so you can use query collections to store data based on filter or search query. So basically what you could do is that if you had a lot of Kindle highlights here, you could automatically get your Kindle highlights into your collections. And I actually like the fact that you can have your uh, different collections uh, like this. So you can see which ones are query typed or simple. My guess is that this query is coming soon since it's already added in here. Uh, in here. So uh, my guess is that that ability is coming soon as well. Uh, you have your search bar right here. You can search everything. You can search nodes or you can search collections. And that actually covers most of the like basic functionality. You have a graph view here as well. So you can see how different things are linked together and how things are living within your database but based or within your note taking app. But basically, um, this right sidebar here shows you what this application wants you to do. It wants to be the place where you capture everything uh, and also the place where you can write markdown uh, notes right here. Uh, it also has a web clipper. So let's jump into uh, just this medium post right here and let's actually just mark these. Uh, right click. Do I find it? I do not find it right here. So this doesn't work. I have to press this up here to open the panel uh, and I can choose to save the whole space. So this web clipper feels a little weird to me because basically the way it works is that uh, you open up this uh, right sidebar and you can start highlighting. Um, and that's actually the wrong web clipper. I have an issue with having way too many web clippers, but I can save this whole page right here. So you first have to click that. And then when you highlight things, you are supposed to be able to highlight things. So I am struggling a little bit uh, with the web clipper. Uh, it feels a little unintuitive. This page is not available on a side panel yet. So a little uh, struggling a little bit with this, but I got uh, I was able to save two pages and if I open this up, it actually saves the whole uh, page. While here it saves the page with my uh, links, but it is supposed to, you are supposed to be able to, uh, to um, highlight things. Uh, I just wasn't able to. And uh, the way this works is that it saves the web page with the link with an image. Uh, and I can click this to open back up the page. But um, why this doesn't pop up now, it does again. So uh, uh, I'm not sure how this uh, web clipper like 
how it is supposed to work. Uh, I haven't gotten it to work for me yet. I have to, uh, I have to figure that one out. Um, but uh, the general idea of this application is that it wants you to uh, save things. There are, of course, issues I have with this way of saving personally, like the fact that I now ended up with three different uh, versions of the same thing. But uh, that is also things that will start to uh, become easier and just some small minor issues in an early stage of this application. So what I'm basically trying to say with this is that the web clipper um, is probably me not being able to figure out exactly how it works and also the fact that it feels a little unintuitive at least for me personally uh, but I think the general uh, idea of the application is really good. I also think that it will become much better once they've added all of the things they've planned so as of right now I think it's worth taking a look at especially because there is no pricing plan yet so the application is free and they have also said that the um, offline version of this app will remain free forever for everyone to use but they are working on making a cloud sync plan uh, that is sustainable but that basically covers it for uh, today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and once again i'm sorry for not getting that uh, mammotron uh, web clipper to work as usual, thank you so, so much for watching today's video.